This is a quick demo of Lightman for After Effects. Lightman allows you to look through your lights to be able to more intuitively and accurately light your 3D scenes. Just a quick note though, this is not a lighting tutorial, so don't get any lighting tips from this. This is just intended to show you how Lightman works. Lightman can be docked into your workspace for quick access to all of its options. It is very simple to use. Here we have a simple 3D scene. We have two camera views as one of them will become the light view. We go ahead and select a spotlight. As soon as we do that, the right camera view becomes the light view and an inspector opens up. In this inspector, we have the various options that are available to us. Here we can adjust the intensity of the light. We can choose whether to show the cone angle in the camera view, turn the shadow casting on and off, solo the light, or turn it on and off. Then all we need to do is get the unified camera tool, which allows us to orbit or position, zoom, whatever the camera, which is actually the light, how we're viewing through the light. We can position the light however we want. We can of course still choose all the options, turn cast shadows on and off, solo, turn it off, whatever. And once the light is in the position that we like, we simply hit the set light position button. Choosing a custom view allows us to see the light in relation to the camera and take an overall view of the entire lighting scene. As you can see, I've set the spotlight as the key light in this scene. Now, we switch back to the active camera and we now choose a point light, which will become the backfill light for this scene. Just as we did with the spotlight, we can use the unified camera tool to position the light and choose the various options to see what works better for us in this particular scene. Again, don't forget, this is not a lighting tutorial. This is just a simply <laughs> a demonstration to show how this tool works. And then you, of course, just hit the set light position to set the light. We switch back to the custom view to inspect the scene once more. And then all that's left to do now is add a parallel light as the backlight to complete our three point lighting scene. Again, don't forget, this is not a lighting tutorial. So don't use this as a guide for how to light your scenes. Now, of course, the last thing left to show is just how to adjust a light that's already existing in your comp. All you need to do then is select the light in your timeline and click on the selected light button, which will bring up the same inspector and you can use the same camera tool again to position the light, set your options however you'd like. And then once you're done, hit the set light position button to set the light in that position. So that's it. This is this was just a quick overview of how to use Lightman for After Effects. Hope it makes your lighting workflows in After Effects more efficient and of course yield to better lit scenes.